Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to take a look at how workflows can save you time in Practice Master. Workflows allow streamlining of common tasks by automatically starting another task based on creation, changes, or deletions of other records. Before taking a look at how to create and modify workflows, let's start by looking at a couple of examples. Workflows can be created to run when activated by a user or automatically when certain criteria is met. Let's run a user-activated workflow from the Matter Manager. For this example, let's say that you want an easier way to create a callback record for a specific attorney. From the Quick Clicks pane, clicking the Return Call for Client workflow opens a task record with the date, calendar code, description, client, and user group fields already populated. Just enter any additional information and click Save to create the record. Now, when the attorney views the My Tasks section on the dashboard, they can easily see that they need to return a call. Next, let's take a look at an example of an automatic workflow. For this matter, let's say that you enter a fee and click Save. However, you accidentally entered 15 hours instead of 1.5. A message is displayed indicating that the fee has more than 8 hours. Now, you can fix the mistake and save the record. This is just one example of how workflows can be utilized to help reduce errors in data entry. Both of the workflows we've looked at have only one action. Let's take a look at a workflow that has multiple actions when adding a client. This particular workflow will generate a thank you letter, create a follow-up calendar entry, and start an email to the billing clerk. To demonstrate, let's save this newly added client. This workflow asks you if you want it to run. After clicking yes, the actions will begin. The thank you letter is assembled using the Microsoft Word document assembly feature. A follow-up calendar entry is also created. Notice the green fields. These are the fields that are populated from the template defined in the workflow. You can change any field as needed before saving the calendar record. And this workflow starts an email to the billing clerk indicating that a new client has been added. These workflows examples are only a small sampling of the various types of actions that workflows can perform. Let's take a closer look at how workflows are created. To add a new workflow, search for Workflows in the Quick Launch. Each workflow is associated with a specific file, depending on what actions you want to perform and from where you want to activate the workflow. Let's create a workflow to generate a fee agreement for the client. Right-click the Client file and select New Workflow. Enter Send Fee Agreement for the workflow name. Since this will be an on-demand workflow, select the User Activated checkbox. In the Actions box, click New to open the Action Wizard. Here, you can see all the different types of workflow actions available. Click the Start Document Assembly Action Type and click Next. Select the document template you want to assemble and then click Finish. When ready, click Save. This workflow is now ready to be used. From the Matter Manager, Click the Send Fee Agreement workflow from the Quick Clicks pane. The letter automatically assembles based on the workflow specifications. Now, let's say that in addition to creating the fee agreement, you now want this workflow to also automatically start a new email with the client's email address in the To field. Open Workflows again from the Quick Launch. After selecting the workflow, right-click on the workflow's name and select Edit Workflow. In the Actions section, click the New button to add an additional action. Let's look at the Email action. This is where you define the different parts of the email. Click the drop-down arrow next to the To field and click the Field button. The available fields will be displayed. Simply select the Email Address field and click the Insert button. After adding any additional information, click OK and Finish. Then, click Save. This workflow has now been updated to generate a document and start a new email. These are just some of the available functions that can be automated by Practice Master Workflows. For more information and examples, check out the Practice Master Workflows guide by visiting tabs3.com forward slash guides. Thanks for watching. See you next time.